Hi, this is Mrs. Kinman, and in this video, we are going to be discussing the external tangent congruence theorem. So what this theorem says is that if I have a circle, the tangent segments from a common external point are going to be congruent. So if uv is a tangent, where u is our point of tangency, and vt is a tangent line to circle c, where t is our point of tangency, then uv is going to be the same length as vt. Great. This is awesome. How does it help? How does it apply? Well, let's take a look. So here we were told that M and N are points of tangency, meaning that that length M is going to be a tangent and N is on a tangent. We want to figure out what the value of X is. Well, how could we do that? Well, what we can do is we can take these two values and set them equal to each other. So X squared is equal to nine. So what does that make X? Well, I can square root both sides here and X is going to be equal to three or we can say it's equal to negative three. Now it's okay for us to say that X is equal to negative three here because we're not talking about X as being the distance. We're talking about X squared as being the distance. And if we square a negative number, we'd still get a positive number. So it still will make that distance of negative three. So we can keep that in mind there as we look at that. Let's take a look at one last example here where we apply this theorem. So segment RS is tangent to circle C at point S, making point S R point of tangency. And segment RT is tangent to circle C at point T, making point T our point of tangency. We want to figure out what the value of X is. So you can see how this might come in to play later when we're trying to prove something, knowing that these are these distances. But for the sake of this video, we're just going over examples on how this can be used, what we can do with it. So let's figure out what those values are. We've got 28 for one piece, and we know that by our external tangent congruence theorem, that this is going to be congruent to this, meaning 28 is congruent to 3x plus 4, or is equal to because those two segments are congruent there. So if the segments are congruent, that means that they're equal, and we can actually just solve for it here. So I can subtract 4 from both sides and get 24 is equal to 3x, or we can divide by 3 and get that x is equal to 8. Okay, so again, that's just an application of this. It's an application in the math world rather than in the real world, but that is how we can use the external tangent congruence theorem to figure out what different values are when it comes to a circle. Similarly, if we know that one length is something, we can use that to say, then I know this also is. And that's kind of how that'll come into play there if we're creating something with a tangent and a circle on how we can use this relationship. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.